right, so let's begin our analysis of this optical data set. We're going to start off with the image here to the left, and we are going, as noted, to draw whole mouse ROIs to quantify the total optical signal detected on a per mouse basis. Now, to draw these ROIs, it's easier if you expand the image. So the easy way to do that is to double click on the image, and it expands to the full height of the analytical window. Now to draw ROIs, simply go over to Toolbox and down to Measure. And you'll see that there are a variety of options for uh, how one can draw the ROI, either as a rectangle ROI, circle or ellipse ROI, freehand ROI, or as a grid ROI. And this is obviously appropriate when you're doing 96 well plate in vitro analyses as an example. So for our purposes here, we're going to do the whole mouse ROI and that will be most readily done by going and doing the rectangle ROI. So we activate that and you can see the blue font for that feature. And I'm gonna pull aside the calibration bar so it doesn't visually impede with our ROI drawing. And you can see the crosshairs now of the ROI drawing feature and you simply left mouse um, uh, to press and drag and release. And there you have uh, your first ROI with the total uh, photons per second value for the region within the ROI. Now I'm gonna slightly resize this ROI and any kind of modification of an ROI requires it to get into an active state. So you activate your ROI by double left mouse clicking and you can see these small squares that are now present at the vertices of the ROI. That means that it's live. And I'm just simply gonna go ahead and drag this a little bit that way. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and copy paste this ROI across and capture uh, the data from the test mice. So what you do now is, again, it's in an active state. So you right mouse click, copy, outside of the ROI, paste ROI, and just repeat that. Okay, and now let's just go ahead and select the second ROI and drag it into place. So that just involves a double left mouse click, it's active, and drag. And we can repeat this for all of the ROIs. All right, and you can fine tune this to get uh, all the ROIs into exact position to capture all of the signal from any one mouse. So I'm gonna modify the position of this particular ROI a bit. Fine, so now what we have is the whole mouse ROIs drawn for the control mouse and the four test mice. All right, so now to get a visual summary of the ROI data that we just generated here, you can go to Toolbox and then to Measurement Manager and select this icon that looks like a ruler. And what you'll see is the Measurement Manager window will open up and you get a summary of the individual ROIs and their total emissions, as I said, in terms of total photons per second. And you also get a bunch of uh, metadata details with regard to each image uh, acquired, along with some additional quantifications of signal as max radians, mean radians, min radians. You can add to this by going to edit columns and selecting whatever additional parameters would be of interest, let's say date and binning, and accept that. And that would then get added to the overall data set of uh, the measurement manager. Uh, presentation. This can get uh, exported as a CSV file. Okay, so you can basically save it to where you will, uh, save it with the CSV extension, open it up in your software of choice, and save it appropriately and do additional uh, analyses and graphs, etc. All right, now the image itself, of course, with your ROI analysis presentation can be saved by simply going to File and doing Save Graphics. And you can then select your uh, storage area of choice. We can do an example here of just call it ROI analysis. We can save it as a JPEG, there are choices. 
hit save. And just to sh demonstrate this, we can minimize the window, go to the folder where the image was saved. And there we are. Okay, so this would be the image that you could then import into any kind of presentation for the purposes of explaining your ROI analysis.